in American culture, justice is truly only served by the Lord. You see, men are taintable, women are gullible, and people often feel that they are the book writers of the Lord's house. In other words, they heard a verse one time in a Sunday sermon way long ago. It's stuck in their mind with them, and it's never changed them. They've never changed their opinion on things that their parents taught them. They go into the world with blinders on that there could be possibly no other way to understand God at any point in the day. A person like me truly listens to the Lord. I really heard when God said, Move your cooler today, please. And I figured he was just trying to help me make room so that I could, well, frankly, stand and take a pee or poop. But the truth was it was to release a little tree frog who had gotten sort of released on me in my little space here. And then after I took care of my business, thank you very much, I was able to go out and find him hopping down the sidewalk as if he was going to shop. I thought, well, you and I both know this is not wise. There'll be dogs coming along here that will pick you up and put you down to size. So for that, he, I was guided to put him into a bottle and hold on to him for a short period of time so he might reconsider doing that, I guess. God's rebuttal to me, I suppose. But the point is that the only justice that was servable to that frog was to release him into that little tree plant that I did, as God guided me to do so. And he grabbed a horn. He was unwilling to get out of the bottle at first. And then openly he went. And he got on the tree and he understood that he was being set free. He also understood that he was not being harmed in that moment, one would presume, because he found that he was hanging in the breeze and literally kind of swinging back and forth as if he was Tarzan on those reeds. And then he decided to let himself fall to the ground and hop along back in the place I didn't want him, which was back on the driveway and across the parking lot before people came through. Now maybe his home is way across the, the street and he knows his way home. I hope so. But the truth is, we don't know so. What we know is that God's justice is only served by God today.